Chet327 and today I'm going to teach you how to check your rear end gear ratio. Easiest way of ever. I don't even know mine, but we're about to find out. You're welcome. Step one, I've jacked up the rear end right under the pumpkin. I've got both tires up off the ground. This is my one legger rear end. Take the truck out of park. Make sure it's in neutral. Step two, a tag flag tape thing so you can count the turns. Step three, mark the body and the tire. I think we're on step four. Very important. You must make sure only one tire is turning. If you've got two tires turning, there's no way you're going to be all confused. Step five is set up a piece of plywood to block extra light. And to help you see that tape in there, I've got this aluminum wheel to shine some light on that tape. Yeah, that tape. Next step, I'm going to turn the tire 10 times. Multiples of 10 are easy. I'm going to let the camera watch the drive shaft. I'll go back and count the number of turns of the drive shaft instead of trying to count two different turning objects at one time. That's going to be a little confusing. Okay, turn the tire 10 times. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you'll see our tape is sticking straight up. So that's a half turn. So whatever we have plus a half. Well the tire turned 10 times. Only one tire. The drive shaft, went back and looked at the video. The drive shaft turned approximately 18.5 times. Since only one tire was turning, we need to multiply this by 2. That's going to be 37. So every time the drive shaft turns 37 times, the tires turn 10 times. So this would be your rear end gear ratio. Uh, let's divide this by 10. So the decimal would be there. You move it one place. That's a 3.7. Never heard of a 370. So let's call it a 373. That's your rear end gear ratio. The easy way. Question, is there a quicker, easier, more precise method? Uh, I believe this is going to be your easiest way. You don't have to, all you do is count here. Divide by 10, done. More precise, you would take the bolts out of that cover, pull that cover off, count the ring gear teeth, count the pinion gear teeth, divide. That's going to be your most precise. Uh, a lot of times on the ring gear it'll be stamped. There'll be a ratio stamped on there. And the bad news is that's going to let all your gear oil out. You may get some dirt in there, your hands will get dirty. This way you jack it up, you spin some tires, you count some drive shaft, done. Now if you want me to show you, tell you what, I will show you. I'll go pop the cover off my new rear end. I got this new rear end off Craigslist. You know, the one with the locker. The one I'm about to put in this ride. If you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe so you can see this ride getting the new rear end. Sound good? Get this. Friday night I was going down the road and in the middle of the road there was this ratchet with this socket. I said that looked like trash, let me go back and look. And it was this ratchet with a socket. It's a Husky, 13 millimeter Husky. Seems like they might have lifetime warranties on these. I don't know if I have a ratchet made by Husky. Well, I do now. So if you lost a ratchet made by Husky with a 13 millimeter, leave me a comment. Tell me where you lost it. 
this might be yours. And coincidentally, check this out. Whoops. Fits my rear end bolts. Okay, that's a 12 to 41. If you divide that, that's gonna be a 342. It's stamped right there on the ring gear. Now, if you wanted to, you go in there and you count the pinion teeth, all those teeth on that pinion gear, and then you count the teeth on your ring gear. It'd be a 12, that's a 41, but if it's stamped on your gear, there's no need to go and count it. Unless you just want to double check. How does this sound? Clean this cover up, paint it, and chud 327. What do you think? Chud 327. C-H-U-D-327. Sound good? What color should I do? Black, white writing? You tell me. Leave it in the comments. Okay, not pink with purple writing. I mean, you can put it in there, but I'm not going to do it. One more question. Do you like the 16-inch 92 Camaro wheels? Do you like the 15 inch 84 Z28 wheels? Or should I slap on a set of 15 inch rally wheels off of 69 Camaro? Leave me a comment below. This seat's too hot.